All right, what's up, y'all? Sorry, this is a little different format of a video than I normally do, but I've been meaning to uh, make this video for a while. Um, for folks that don't know me, I just got out of the Air Force. I was in the Air Force band for four years, and I just wanted to. I get a lot of questions, mainly on Instagram, about uh, folks who are wanting to audition to be in a military band and just ask me for advice and whatnot. And I've uh, I've come up with just like five things that you should bear in mind when uh, preparing for a, a military band audition. Number one is, sounds simple, but people don't always do it, is just fulfill all the requirements on the audition list. There's been times when I was sitting on the audition panel and folks just straight up didn't do one part of it and they could have been a great player and if someone else was maybe not as good then and not as good and then fulfilled all the requirements then they got the gig and not the stellar player who's just a little lazy so it sounds simple but do everything on that list <laughs> all right number two is work on your sight reading it's a uh, I mean, I'm, if you're a guitar player watching this, I assume you're not a great sight reader because uh, what kind of guitar player is, honestly? So, uh, some good resources to check out, or my number one resource for that is the uh, Jim Snydero Jazz Conception. Maybe I can get a picture popping up here on the video, but maybe not. I'm not very good with technology. But, yeah, work on your sight reading. Do that, open up the real book, just go through every day just hammer that down and hopefully whoever's on your audition panel isn't crazy about the sight reading I I'm not the best sight reader I feel like I kind of did do amazing at the sight reading portions of some of my auditions and I still got the gig but <clears throat> just I, I did enough to just get through I I fumbled a bunch of notes, but they, I still didn't lose the form completely. So, two, sight reading. Number three, don't let the audition be the first time you're playing this music with a band. Like, if you're sitting in your room working on the songs with the backing track, that's awesome. That's a good way to learn it, but get your buddies, get a bass player, get a drummer, or if you're a bass player, get a guitar player, keyboard player, drummer. Just play the songs with different musicians because the people playing in the audition room might not necessarily be the greatest players and maybe their feel isn't exactly like the record and that throws you off, maybe they count it off a little fast, like just try to eliminate any other variables there. So, number three, play the music with a real band before you go in, not just a backing track. Number four, and this is what I did whenever I uh, won my auditions. I, uh, I did, I won a regional and then I won a premiere gig, but we ended up going a different route. I'm uh, over in Texas now, living the dream. And uh, anyways, number four, look the part. Go in, look sharp, sharply dressed, and uh, maybe get an in regs haircut if you're a male, or maybe if you're female, look up the current hair regs, which I think they're just changing. It's, it's 2021 right now, and I believe they changed quite a few things. Even since I've been out, you can wear like baseball style hats I've been seeing pictures of, and that's cool. But uh, I, <laughs> I always wanted to do that. They let you do that when you're deployed, but not uh, stateside. Yeah. And for me, uh, whenever I first uh, was going out to audition, man, I, I, I looked up the weight requirements and I was like 20 pounds overweight. I'm back there now. I've been out of active duty for two months and it comes on quick. But yeah, I had to lose weight and I bought a suit and got a nice looking haircut and I went in, you know, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Be super professional. Number five would be be a good hang. And this kind of just goes for any 
job interview or band audition, you know, but probably more so in the civilian sector, as they say. Uh, man, just be fun to be around. Don't be a curmudgeonly person. Just be positive. Have a good vibe about you, because you know these people are thinking like, well, who do we want to hire? Who do we want to be around the next uh, four years or so? And try to make sure that that's you. Don't be weird. Don't <laughs> try not to bring up politics, because especially now, not in 2021, people get a get a little nutty about that. You can never really be sure what side people lean. So just found it's best to don't talk about that stuff unless it's absolutely necessary <laughs> um, yeah those are my five tips to win a military band audition if you have any more questions find me on the Instagram Mike Telly Tuck and I'd be happy to help you out there and man good luck practicing military gig is a great gig I did it for four years uh, met my wife there and man it was a blast I got to play all over the world no, mainly in the Middle East and uh, the West Coast, but definitely recommend it. Really put me in a great financial situation. I got to serve in such a unique way, and yeah, now uh, now I'm gonna use the GI Bill, and GI Bill also pays for your housing as well while you're going back to school, and so it's it, gave, it basically just gives you eight years of just a nice ride <laughs> if you serve four at least. Uh, right on, y'all. Thanks for checking out my video.